Okay, so uh, my fingers are frozen and it's gonna be looking down the road and it's really foggy so I'm not too sure if this uh, if that helps right now but it is uh, it is really cold I'm not wearing gloves so I'm gonna have to go and sit in the car and wait Donc, euh, je suis désolé, euh, je ne parle pas français parce que mon français est mauvais. All right, so as we know from our previous videos and previous examples was <clears throat> the cold wasn't very good for the Bebop 2 camera. So I took off the camera and put thermal paste between the sensor and the heat sink to help regulate the temperature of the sensor closer to ambient temperature, basically uh, close to the temperature surrounding um, the area. And the second thing I did was remove the front element to realign it and the entire barrel to refocus. And now I will let you view the entire video of the Bebop 2 out in the cold. It was um, minus three minus two, it was gusting minus six. So it was pretty cold. And uh, here you can see we're starting off. I put a time code on it so you know exactly uh, how much time is uh, has elapsed on the video. I will speed it up uh, so you don't waste your time watching it. Uh, but we can um, compare this at the end of the 20 minutes. And if there is a degradation in the quality, you will see that during this um, sped up uh, uh, lapse of the video recording uh, from the Bebop 2. At the end of it, I will do a screen dump and do a comparison at the beginning of the video with the screen dump of the ending of the video and put them side by side and see uh, how much detail was lost in the cold um, over a span of 20 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna slow the video down now and did you see any difference in the video? Did you see the video degrade? Uh, the reason I didn't fly the drone was because I haven't glued any of the parts back together so I don't want to risk losing any of the lens elements or the lens housing itself. So that is why I didn't fly the drone. But to do this test I only needed it to be in the cold and to see the quality of the video. Um, over time in the cold. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, splice or a screen capture of the starting of the video and the screen capture of the ending of the video and splice them and probably magnify them in a few areas and see if the detail was uh, how badly was the detail lost. Okay now that you have seen the two samples would you be able to tell which one is the before and which one is after? Okay, so here's a splice half and half, so top half, bottom half, and the top half is, yes, the start of the video, and the bottom half is the ending of the video after 20 minutes. We can tell from this that there was no visible degradation of the video in the cold after our little modifications to the drone's camera. Let's dig in a little further and zoom in and pan across and tilt across the frame to show the differences of uh, after 20 minutes and at the start of the video and also a side by side of the same area zoomed in and captured side by side for comparison. With the um, left hand side of the start of the video we have a bit more of purple fringing, vignetting and uh, that is because there was a lot more light so I should have underexposed my exposure. 
and uh, towards the end of the video it uh, got a bit more cloudy and sort of blocked the sun so it uh, went a little dimmer and that removed the purple fringing. I hope this has helped you with your research and this experiment has helped you understand a bit better uh, the problem of the camera. I will however leave you with some b-roll footage from the Bebop 2 after being in the cold for 20 minutes and I was holding it with my hand and moving it around to get some b-roll footage to end this video. So until next time, fly safe and God bless. Mm -hmm.